ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली सेकेंड अगस्त स्वीट लेटर ऑफ पाप दादा फॉर स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन कंटिन्यू टू चर्न नॉलेज एंड यू विल नेवर बिकम कन्फ्यूज अबाउट एनी थिंग स्वीट चिल्ड्रन कंटिन्यू टू चर्न नॉलेज एंड यू विल नेवर बिकम कन्फ्यूज अबाउट एनी थिंग always maintain the intoxication that incorporeal god himself is the one who is teaching you who is teaching you incorporeal god father question which children can experience the imperishable intoxication of these jewels of knowledge which children can experience the imperishable intoxication of these jewels of knowledge answer those who are poor children only poor children become multi millionaires through the father they can be threaded in the rosary wealthy people have the intoxication of their perishable wealth at this time baba does not need multi millionaires children heaven is established with every penny of the poor children because it is the poor who have to become wealthy so take us away from this world of sin to a place of rest and comfort om shanti you sweetest children of bab dada know that we are now going to such a place where there is no name or trace of sorrow which is called the land of happiness we were the masters of that land of happiness of heaven in the land of happiness there was the golden age where the deities used to rule so you have now become brahmans and are the mouth born creation of brahma you even right shiv baba care of brahma kumaris you also now know that this is truly your stage of ascent you children now understand very clearly the stage of ascent and descent you also understand that when bharat was in the stage of ascent the people there were called deities it is now the stage of descent and that this is why they cannot be called deities they now consider themselves to be human beings they go to the temples and bow their heads in front of the deity ideals they believe that they truly did not exist in the past when this they don't know you can explain to anyone that 3000 years before christ bharat was heaven you children have now understood that the cycle definitely does have to turn the impure world has to become pure it is now in the intellects of you children that you are being changed from human beings into deities by the father you should have the intoxication that the father is teaching you it is also remembered god speaks i teach you raj yoga they have simply made a mistake in that they have inserted the name of the child in place of the fathers only you children understand this mistake no one else understand it it has entered the intellects of you children that you are once again becoming pure in order to go to your land of happiness from the land of peace people sing o purifier come only god the father is the purifier no one can call krishna that your intellect should continue to churn this at school children continue to churn the studies they have been taught if you continue to churn this you will never become confused you know that it is now your stage of ascent liberation in life in a second is remembered as soon as a child is born he receives a right to an inheritance however that is not the inheritance of liberation in life here you receive your fortune of the kingdom of liberation in life you definitely have to receive it from the father you also know that bharat received the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father 
it is now to receive it once again you are now following shrimat and claiming your inheritance on the path of devotion they continue to remember someone or other the pictures of all of them are present they are worshiped the father has explained this secret to you a handful out of multi million will understand these things very well and also have faith whereas others will have doubt so you first have to explain about the relationship so that no one has any doubts no one has any doubts it is also mentioned in the gita that god said and explain everything to arjun it is not possible that who would sit and teach raj yoga in a horse chariot he would not sit and teach raj yoga in that way that is a lie they portray brahma emerging from the navel of vishnu and then they have shown brahma with the scriptures in his hand he cannot be in the subtle region so the essence would be explained here you can explain using such pictures these pictures will also definitely be useful for the exhibitions it is not a question of the subtle region whom would he explain to through the mouth of brahma there there are just brahma vishnu and shankar so to whom would he explain the essence of the scriptures you know that all of that is the paraphernalia of the path of devotion this path of devotion cannot exist in the golden and silver ages that is the kingdom of deities how could there be devotion there devotion takes place later on so you children know that only those whose intellects have faith become victorious if you have faith in the father you definitely receive the sovereignty the father sits there and explains i am the one who establishes heaven i am the one who purifies the impure you would never say that shiva is sham sundar the ugly one and the beautiful one only krishna is called sham and sundar only you children understand that shiva does not enter the cycle he cannot be shown as beautiful and ugly the father explains it is now the stage of ascent of you children from being ugly you have to become beautiful you have to become beautiful bharat was beautiful why has it now become ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust it is also remembered that lust burned the child of the ocean and destroyed them the father is now enabling you to sit on the pyre of knowledge you are being showered with knowledge you also understand that this is the only place where you have the canopy of the truth you also understand that this is the only place where you have the company of the truth the supreme father the supreme soul who establishes heaven is called the lord of immortality so he would definitely sit here and explain to the children would he sit in the mountains would he sit in the mountains and explain to just one parvati he has to make the whole of the impure world pure it is not a question of just one you know that you are the masters of the pure world and that you will become the masters once again it is also explained to you in the picture of the tree that the smaller branches emerge at the end all of them are small sects and cults very beautiful leaves emerge first when a tree reaches its stage of decay there are no more new leaves and it does not bear fruit the father continues to explain everything to you children very clearly your battle is with maya the status you receive is so high therefore some effort surely has to be made so you have to study and also become pure for half a cycle it has been the kingdom of ravan and it is now to become the kingdom of rama people say that there should be the kingdom of rama but they don't know how or when they that will be 
these things are not mentioned in the scriptures they show that pandavas melted away on the mountains okay so what happened then so what happened then annihilation does not take place on the one hand they show the father teaching raj yuga he say you will become kings of kings in the future however they then show the pandavas to being destroyed how could that be possible how could that be possible how would the new world be established where would shri krishna come from brahmans are definitely needed you know that you are making effort to go to the new world you come here to the ocean of knowledge to be refreshed there you listen to the gangas of knowledge they have a lake at amarnath called mansarovar they say that by bathing in that you become angels in fact it is the mansarovar of knowledge the father the ocean of knowledge sits here and bathes you in knowledge through which you become the angels of paradise hearing the name angels they have shown human beings with wings in fact there is no question of wings etc the wings with such which souls can fly are now broken the wings with which souls can fly are now broken look what they have written in the scripture this one has studied many scriptures the father also says to him you don't know your own birth i come and enter you at the end of the last of your many births krishna is the first birth of the golden age after their marriage they become lakshmi and narayan at the end of his many births the one who was shri narayan has now become ordinary therefore he definitely has to enter this body some ask how can god enter the impure world because of not understanding this they have inserted shri krishna's name he is the purest of all but not everyone would believe shri krishna to be god god is incorporeal his name shiva is very well known prajapita brahma exist here brahma vishnu and shankar are in the subtle region this too has to be explained very clearly this has to be imbibed very well you should remind one another of this are you remembering baba are you remembering baba are you remembering the cycle of 80 of four births we are now going home this is an old world we now have to renounce our old costumes we are now becoming ready for the new world there is not any intoxication of the old world this is the intoxication of the imperishable jewels of knowledge it is difficult to break that other intoxication it is difficult to break that other intoxication the intoxication of the poor can be broken the father says i am the lord of the poor it is the poor who come here nowadays only millionaires are said to be wealthy those who have hundreds of thousands are not called wealthy they would not be able to take this knowledge the father says i don't need millions or billions the father says i don't need million or billion what would i do with that i have to establish the sovereignty with every penny of the poor i am also a shrewd biz- businessman i would not just take anything unnecessary that i would have to give a ton of it you have an exchange with him and this is why he is called the innocent lord only the poorest of the poor are threaded in the rosary everything depends on the efforts you make there is no question of money in this the poor pay good attention to their studies they is just the one study it is the poor who study well because the wealthy have intoxication of their wealth you children know that you were the masters of heaven and that you have now become poverty stricken the father has now come ag- again 
the cycle of 84 births definitely has to be turned rebirths will also be proved only you long lost and now for children go around the cycle of 84 births only you know this no one else knows it you know that this cycle is now to end and that you have to return home you have to revise your study if you have put picture up you will remember the cycle when you see it some songs are very good they make you intoxicated when you hear them you now belong to shiv baba you are now receiving your inheritance from the incorporeal through the corporeal how could the incorporeal one give it to you unless he entered a corporeal form therefore he says i enter this one at the end of his many births prajapita father of humanity humanity has to exist here the name of brahma is also very well known brahma's mouth born creation the summer salt has also been explained to his children we are now brahmans and we will then become deities you can see the top knot at the top is shiv baba the star he is so subtle he is not such a big lingam they have just created that for worship when they create a sacrificial fire they make one large shiv lingam and many small saligrams wealthy people make many of them all of that starts on the path of devotion with the copper rich there are 16 degrees then 14 degrees and then the degrees continue to decrease until now when no degree remains the father now sits here and explain to you the father does not give you any other difficulty continue to note down for how long you remember the husband of all husbands Baba is saying continue to note down for how long you remember the husband of all husbands the engagement has to be unadulterated forget all your friends and relatives forget all your friends and relatives have love for only the one you have to go from this ocean of poison to the ocean of milk souls are sitting in the element of brahm they show vishnu in an ocean of milk vishnu and brahma he explains to you through brahma and you then go to the land of vishnu the ocean of milk the father now says constantly remember me alone constantly remember me alone he does not give you any other difficulty he simply says o oh souls remember me O oh souls, remember me. I sent you to play your parts. He reminds you. You came naked, bodiless. First of all, you became deities and went to heaven. Since God is the father of all, so everyone should go to heaven. However, not those of all religions can go there. Only the deities have taken 84 births. They are the ones who have to go there. No one apart from you can know these things. Only those with good intellects will imbibe this. There is a very little. Therefore, simply consider yourself to be souls. There is a very little time. Therefore, simply consider yourself to be souls. I shed a body and take another. The 84 births are now complete. This is now the final birth. The soul will become real gold. In the golden age, the jewelry was real. It is now all false. You are now sitting on the pyre of knowledge and becoming beautiful. You are now sitting on the pyre of knowledge and becoming beautiful. If you remember him in every breath, you will have that stage at the end. If you remember him in every breath, you will have that stage at the end. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And we spiritual children says Namaste, good morning to our sweetest spiritual father. Essence for Dharna. First, in order to go to the ocean of milk, 
have true love for the one father have true love for the one father stay in unadulterated remembrance of the one and remind everyone of the one father second don't have any intoxication of perishable wealth maintain your permanent intoxication of the wealth of knowledge claim a high status through this study today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you be a karam yogi who experiences zeal enthusiasm and tirelessness with the father's help may you be a karam yogi who experiences zeal enthusiasm and tirelessness with the father's help because karam yogi children have the father's company as they act they receive extra help no matter how difficult some work may be the father's help gives you zeal enthusiasm courage and the power to be tireless any task that is done with zeal and enthusiasm will definitely be successful the father does not do any work with his own hands the father does not do any work with his own hands but he definitely does the work of giving help if you have the karam yogi stage of just you and the father you will never feel tired if you have the karam yogi stage of just you and the father you will never feel tired slogan mine has attraction and therefore transform mine into yours mind has attraction and therefore transform mind into yours om shanti thank you ma'am